Let's kick things off with Apple. On September 15th, they officially dropped iOS 26 alongside the iPhone 17 series, including the ultra-thin iPhone 17 Air, measuring just 5.6 mm thick. The new OS introduces a liquid glass design. Think fluid transitions, ambient UI, and a more immersive app experience. Pre-orders are already flying, especially in China, though the Air model is getting mixed reviews globally. And Apple's not just pushing pixels, they're expanding their physical footprint too, with a new flagship store opening in downtown Detroit this week. Meanwhile, Microsoft's Patch Tuesday was no joke. They patched 81 vulnerabilities across Windows, Office, and Azure, including two zero-day exploits. If you're still on Windows 10, good news, Microsoft's offering extended security updates for $30 per device as support winds down in October. This move is a lifeline for enterprise users not ready to jump to Windows 11, and it underscores how cybersecurity is no longer optional. It's mission critical. In India, the National Payments Corporation just raised the ceiling on UPI transactions for high-value sectors like insurance, travel, and investments. Apps like PhonePay, GPay, and Paytm are set to benefit big time. This is part of India's broader push toward a cashless economy, and it's a signal to global fintech players. Scalability and seamless UX are the new battlegrounds. Over on Wall Street, tech stocks are on fire. The Nasdaq and S&P 500 closed at record highs this week, fueled by optimism around upcoming Fed rate cuts. Alphabet crossed the $3 trillion market cap for the first time, while Tesla surged 3% after Elon Musk personally bought $1 billion in stock. Even Seagate Technology saw a 7.7% spike, thanks to investor interest in its high-capacity data drives, too. The message? Big tech isn't just back, it's booming. AI continues to dominate headlines. Samsung hosted its AI Forum 2025, showcasing how they're embedding AI into consumer devices, not just cloud platforms. But it's not all smooth sailing. The FTC and global regulators are ramping up scrutiny of chatbots and AI platforms. NVIDIA, for instance, is facing antitrust heat in China over its 2020 acquisition of an Israeli networking firm. As AI becomes more integrated into daily life, expect more regulatory friction and more innovation. Crypto's been volatile but resilient. Bitcoin is hovering around $115,500, down from its 124 k high last month. Meanwhile, gold hit a record 3,720 Oz and oil climbed to 63.30 barrel to dollars. These shifts reflect investor hedging ahead of the Fed's rate decision. Digital assets are still in play, but the landscape is evolving fast. That's a wrap on this week's tech roundup. From sleek smartphones to seismic market moves, the tech world never sleeps. And neither should your curiosity. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and drop a comment on which story caught your eye. Until next time, stay curious, stay secure, and stay ahead of the curve.